Hi right, guys, so today is Saturday morning and well, I still don't have my phone mount. Um, <laughs> uh, it's raining as usual. It seems like the weather is so nice through the week and then come Saturday morning when I can go out yard sailing, it's raining. So this yard sale I'm at currently is rain or shine. So we'll see how it goes. I didn't bring an umbrella or even anything with a hood because, well, I am never prepared for anything. Um, but yes, I am at the Utz Employee Yard Sale. A uh, little known fact, I live in a town that is considered the s snack town capital of the world. We have a lot of snack factories in our town, Utz being one of them. Uh, there's three Utz factories in town. And they're having their employee yard sale today. So that is where I am currently. Um, they typically, the outlet store is here, the Oats Outlet. So they typically have a good sale going on um, snacks. <laughs> and there was, oh gosh, yesterday I, oh man. I will fill you in on um, what, what, why I'm getting a free snack of something later on in this video. I don't want to bore you with it right now. Um, but let's hop on out of here, get a little wet to hopefully find some stuff. And yeah, let's go shopping. A boot size 10 for $15. Not my size though. These are hearts. These are men's for 10 some perfumes here. All the clothes are 50 cents. And the socks down here are a quarter. That's a pretty print on this cheek. One dollar. Some more bags. Nine bags. Everyone has everything covered up, so it's really hard to look at anything. Alright, so let's see if we find anything today. You missed it, Margie. I put all my boys' bear stuff away. Okay, gotcha. I just see five. You have changed it. I will do it. Where? Sorry, oh, there is a McDonald's or something. No, I feel there's a big one. What do you want now? Ten, five. I don't have it, but that's all I have. It's very, very wet. These are cute. This little tea towel. I like those. These are really cute though. Very springy. I think I'm gonna get those. Everything's covered up because of the rain. I'm gonna dig through here for a minute. Looks like Christmas stuff.
It is really raining. Everything is just getting soaking wet. This is a really good brand of candle, Aromatique. Doesn't have a price. I hate that. I love the packaging on that. It's cute. So when I was talking about snacks being on sale, this is kind of what I mean. Five dollars for a box, dollar for a bag, five dollars for sixty, pretzels for two, five dollars for sixty bags, dollar a bag. $2 Alright guys, so I am done at the if oots <laughs> I am done at the Oots employee yard sale and then there were a couple just along the street and uh there was also one at a church which was right down the street and <laughs> it was raining this morning. Uh the rain did stop. There is a community that I am going to be going to. Uh, but just as a little teaser, I, I feel like I find Betsy Johnson like every week. So I did find this Betsy Johnson wristlet. This was $5, but it's brand new with the tags. Price tag um, is not on it anymore, but it is so stinking cute. Probably going to keep this one. It is so pretty. And since it's a like clutch wristlet, um, these are perfect for um, going yard sailing with to keep my money in. So let's head on to the community yard sale. All right, guys. So, I, s <laughs> I went to the community yard sale and I got really hungry, so I went back to the employee yard sale because I was craving french fries. These are from a company called Brickers French Fries and I'm telling you, they are the best french fries I have ever eaten. Um, there might be some french fries out there that, you know, taste better than these but I have yet to eat those <laughs> so these are my favorite I like to just put salt and malt vinegar on them they are so good um the food truck like the french fry truck is usually always at like any kind of big sale big event um you'll see them at like local carnivals the local fair and they have um an actual stand at a flea market that is by here too so definitely, if you're ever in my neck of the woods, uh, check out Bricker's French Fries because they are amazing. Um, so, story time. My town, my hometown, they have like a local kind of Facebook group. It's, a lot of it's just BS, um, but there is some informative stuff on there, but it's a lot of trolling that goes on. And there has been a shopping cart that's been sitting in front of the royal farms convenience store for a while for some reason whatever there was like a big post about it um people were taking pictures with it people put a get well soon balloon on it just because it's been sitting abandoned there for quite a while just being stupid being fun then someone else made like a little music video about it and they named it Carty B, like a shopping cart, cart, Carty B. Um, and it just kind of like went through town as far as 
you know, <laughs> local companies, newspapers and stuff like that, just like reporting on it kind of thing is so stupid, but so funny. And while Utz actually got in on it too, they had posted on their Facebook page, if you go into their outlet store and mention Cardi B, then you'd get a free snack. So I was just expecting like a little snack size bag of something, but they actually gave out a full size bag of bite-sized mini pretzels um, just for mentioning Cardi B, the freaking shopping cart. Like, oh my gosh, it is so dumb, but so, so funny. So just funny little story time there. I need to eat these french fries before they get cold. <laughs> um, but yeah, yard sale lane was good. I found a lot of good things. Ideally, I'd like to do my haul in the car. It's fun, but I have a lot of stuff. I still don't have my phone mount, so my hand is hurting holding my phone up on my steering wheel propped up. Um, so I'm gonna film uh, back at home. I need to get home, oh, my boyfriend is waiting for me um I said I was coming home like an hour or so ago and I still am not home um so yeah but ideally once I get like my phone mount and stuff I'd like to start doing my hauls in the car just because you know it's fun I don't gotta drag all my stuff inside and sit it all out and film so I'm gonna head on home show you guys my haul I hope you enjoyed uh this week's yard sale uh video i hope everyone who did go out yard sailing found a lot of good things this week and yes yeah, so stay tuned okay hey so i am home from yard sailing and i'm ready to do my haul share my haul with you guys i think it's so funny the past two weeks now that i went out yard sailing i feel like i'm finding a trifecta of designer bags i feel like last week i found a bessie johnson a coach and a dooney and this week i found a bessie johnson a coach and a dooney it's kind of weird uh kind of crazy but um so i'm gonna show you guys everything that i found today even though it did start um the day started out rainy and gross. I mean, it's still kind of dreary outside, but the rain did eventually stop, which was nice. So I am going to show you everything that I got. Um, remember, I went to the Oats Employee Yard Sale today, then I stopped at a church, and then I went to a community yard sale. I mainly filmed just at the Oats Yard Sale. Um, when I go to the communities, especially like when it rains and people have their yard sales in the garage, they're more like garage sales, I feel like a creeper filming people's stuff to begin with, but I feel extra creepy when doing it like in their home almost, like inside their garages. So I don't have any um, yard sale footage of that, um, but I am gonna share with you guys what I found. I'll let you know what I paid for everything. So as I stated, I did find a Betsy Johnson purse and this one is a wristlet. It is so, so cute. I absolutely love it. Um, I do typically buy a lot to resell, but this one I do believe I am going to keep and it still had the tag attached. Um, looks like they took the price tag off, so I'm not sure what it retailed for, but it was obviously never used and I absolutely love the look of this. I am a huge fan of floral so yeah I fell in love with it and I will show you what it looks like on the inside it just looks like this so this side here you just have a spot for like your driver's license your cards up there then there's like a zipper compartment um and I was telling the lady I was like this would be perfect for yard sailing um so I can just you know carry it on my wrist and Voila! So I was really excited for that. She charged me $5 for it, but I thought that was still a really good deal, especially considering it was brand new and she had lots of nice stuff. So I did get a couple other things from her. She had this makeup palette. It was in this bubble wrap here. And I believe, I want to say this brand, I don't know how to pronounce it, the D O U C C. E or CCC. I don't know if it's du Duke, douche. <laughs> I doubt it's douche. Sure. Um, I feel like maybe I had seen it in maybe a boxy charm or something. If anyone knows, let me know. Uh, but this is so gorgeous. It's brand new. She never used it. I absolutely love the colors in there. They're all colors that I, I love to wear. Just the neutral 
um, colors to it and looks like on the other side is a possibly a um, highlighter there on the end right there so I was really I was really excited to find that she charged me one dollar for that one stinking dollar I was so excited and then I also got this from her and she charged me a dollar for this it is by Nicole Miller New York and it is a cosmetic brush bath I thought this was so cute um basically it's like a little pink silicone um container really and then it's got some nubby bits on the bottom so you'd fill it with water and then rub like your makeup brush along the bottom to clean it so she charged me a dollar for that it looks like it was originally $4.99 at Ross it seems like a lot of her stuff was from like TJ Maxx and Ross like she was definitely like a TJ Maxx shopper and then also from her I found such so many good things um, I got this washi tape it's called the all glam planner washi tape and it contains six different rolls of washi and they just look like these ones right here so I thought those were really really cute I don't do the planner thing or anything like that but I still like cute tapes like this especially like when I do packages and things like that and she said she had just purchased these so I don't know where they were from, probably like a craft store or something, or maybe they were also from like TJ Maxx or something, I don't know. But she charged me a dollar for that as well. So lots of nice stuff at her yard sale. She also had a lot of LuLaRoe and um, a lot of Yankee candles. Um, but yeah, I didn't get any of those. Then I found this candle. This is from White Barn. And it is the Mint Mocha Bark candle. So this is just like a little mini candle. It's not real, real big. It has a price of $4.50 on the bottom. But I only paid uh, 50 cents for this. So, oh, it smells really, really nice. It just has a definite, like, mint chocolate smell. It reminds me of, like, mint chocolate ice cream or something like that. So, got that. I found, I was seeing a lot of coach bags while I was out. Um, anywhere from like $5 to $20. Um, I didn't buy any of the $5 ones because they were kind of dirty and I don't know, they just didn't really, nothing about them really sparked my interest. And then there was one for 20 that was nice, but I just, you know, wasn't really feeling it either. I found this guy, this Coach Sling Pack. This was the Scribble Print this looks brand spanking new like it doesn't look like they used it at all the inside is absolutely clean the outside is clean the straps are clean like it just it looks brand new to me um this was laying on the bottom of a box full of purses uh two dollars i about pooped my pants i couldn't believe it i was like oh my gosh she was saying like anything that didn't sell that day it was all going to you know the donation pile so I'm glad I uh, scored that or else I'd be paying probably $20 for it in the thrift store so I got that for two I found this Dooney and Burke and this is just like a little it's a little bigger I would say um a little bigger than a coin purse but it definitely has that kind of look and then there's a key ring there on the end so but it's a really nice dark green and then the inside it's got a red lining very nice very nice quality I like that and then if you don't want the key ring part out you can just slip it in there so that would make a really nice coin purse or change purse this was five dollars so a little bit pricey, but it looks brand new and yeah, I thought that was worth the five bucks. I found a body shop bath pillow and it came in this little case. And then the pillow itself is just looks like this. So it has like a fleecy kind of outerness and then if you need to clean it if you need to clean the outer part 
you can take it off and throw it in the washing machine. So I like these when I am taking my uh, bath bomb baths, my lush baths. I'm just like when I'm laying back, relaxing in the tub, reading, watching Netflix, whatever I'm deciding to do while I'm laying in the tub. Um, yeah, so I do have a couple bath pillows. Some are better than others. I've never had a body shop one, so I figured I'd give it a whirl and they charged me 50 cents for that. So I went to this one lady's yard sale and I found quite a number of things at her sale. The first thing that I found was this philosophy falling in love and this is just a solid uh, perfume. So this was 25 cents. It's in a compact, it's a mirrored compact and it looks like maybe she used it once or yeah, once. Maybe she used it once or twice and it smells really nice. So philosophy for a quarter, that's a great deal. And then also at her sale, I found this Bungalow Glow Hawaii. These are, this is a premium organics, coconut butter and macadamia nut oil loofah soap. It says it was made in Hawaii. Um, it was originally from TJ Maxx, it looks like this. You can kind of see like the loofah part intermixed into the soap. And this was a dollar. Originally it was $3.99 at TJ Maxx. And it smells really nice. There's like a little hole cut out here so you can sniff it. And then also at her sale, I found this bra. And when I went up to her, I was like, cause it didn't have a price tag on it. I was like, how much is, is this? And she's like, well, what is it? I, how do you not know what you're selling at your yard sale? Like, I was like, it's a bra. And she's like, oh, 75 cents. I was like, what? Um, this is a brand new with tags. Um, it's by Maiden Form. And it's a gorgeous bra. I absolutely love it. It's black and it has this lacy bit here on the side. Still with the tags, 75 cents. I just... I couldn't believe it and it was my size so I was so super excited about that so 75 cents for a brand new made in form bra and she didn't even know what it was how can you not know what you're selling at your own yard sale like I don't know anyway I did find some other stuff from her as well I got these uh, four count paper bags they're just like white with gold metallic stripe these were 25 cents it looks like they were originally a dollar from target dollar spot but for a quarter um i just like having stuff like this on hand for if i ever need it for something uh right off the top of my head i have no idea what i would need it for but if a need arises where i need some form of uh, paper treat bags then i will have some so for a quarter even if i'm holding on to them for a couple of years i'm okay with that she also had this bag and I don't know if maybe she got this as a gift and just left it in the the gift bag I don't know uh but it was one dollar here's the price sticker one dollar and inside she had two bags of this tea and I've never had this tea before so if anyone has used it or has drank drank it before it's called Adagio Teas. So this one was in there. This is an Earl Grey iced tea. And then there was a blood orange iced tea. So basically there are six bags in here. And I guess each pouch makes a quart of tea. So I'm excited to try these. This one is a mixture of blood orange, hibiscus, and rose hips. It's naturally caffeine free, so it's perfect anytime. You can steep it hot or refrigerate it overnight in cold water. I love tea, and especially since it's, you know, the weather is getting warmer, I like to drink my teas iced, so this is perfect. And then um, the Earl Grey says it's a traditional blend of tangy Ceylon flavored with bergamot, zesty citrus, sweet, perfect with milk. So I'm excited to try these. So we'll see if anyone has tried either of those before, let me know how they were. So basically 50 cents a piece for them. 
I picked these up for my boyfriend. Um, I just thought they'd be a cute little like novelty thing for him to display. He doesn't really, he's not really a, a drinker or anything like that, but I know he really liked the Doom video game. I know he played it when he was younger. Uh, so these were 25 cents and um, these I probably came, yeah, these came from Loot Crate. There was a lot of stuff that she had there for sale that was from like the Loot Crate subscription box. So I thought that was a good deal, a quarter for those, and he liked them. And then she had a bunch of makeup bags, a lot of Lancome and a lot of Estee Lauder makeup bags. And I was just looking at the bags and she's like, oh, I put little goodies in those. So basically the bags were a dollar. They were all a dollar. And then each bag had a little something extra in. So this bag that I chose had a Lancome Regenerate Lift Multi-Action Lifting and Firming Cream. It just looks like that. And then it also had the Lancome by Facil uh, makeup remover. So a dollar for that plus the bag. I thought that was a good deal. So got that. Um, let's see. I got a LuLaRoe. I got a LuLaRoe shirt. This one wasn't like new or anything like that, but it looks to be in good condition. It's kind of like a red color with gray. Uh, striped sleeves and this this was three dollars I thought that was kind of pricey uh, but I liked I liked the top uh, I definitely feel like I'll wear this so um, I paid three dollars for it because I liked it so got that I found this scarf it is just a navy blue with um, little anchors all over it so it's a really big scarf and this was brand new with the tags and it was by Francesca's which is like a little boutique -y kind of shop that's in um, a lot of malls. Looking at the price they have it blacked out but the re original retail price on this was $18 which I think is kind of crazy. I paid $1 for that so brand new with the tag. I got two tea towels and these look brand new. I don't think they were ever used. Maybe just like displayed. That's what I like to do. Like I'll just put them on my stove handle um, just as kind of like display or just to wipe my hands off with, to dry my hands, not to actually um, use to like, I don't like staining them up. You know what I mean? Just kind of there for decoration purposes. But I really like the look of this. This one says, hello spring, and I just loved the bicycle print. And then this one has that bicycle print all over it. And these were 50 cents a piece, so a dollar for both. And they're by a company called Cottontail Lane. I don't know where that is originally from, but they felt like really nice quality, so I picked those up. I got this Coach um, sunglasses case. It's just a hard shell case. It looks like this. Unfortunately, there wasn't any Coach sunglasses inside, but I paid a dollar for it, and I thought this would be good for like my sunglasses or even like my eyeglasses or anything like that. So it's just a really nice hard case. I got this Ulta Amber Sparkle. It's a citrus and amber shower gel. And this was brand new. The lady said that she had never used it before. It smells really, really nice. Very lovely. Um, this was 50 cents. And again, I've been picking stuff up to do a giveaway. So like I said, some of the things you see, you might see in the giveaway. And then I also picked this up. This is a Victoria's Secret sponge. And it was brand new with the tags. And it was originally $4, I paid a dollar. So this side just is black and then this side is pink. So that was a dollar. And then I got this Eco Tools. These are Color Perfecting Minis and they're just mini uh, concealers. So they're just like little mini concealer blending sponges. So. Um, I guess you're to use them with the color correcting concealers, but you don't have to, um, obviously, but it looks like one was, um, used. It is missing, but there's three others and they were only 25 cents. So 
I thought they'd be nice to just get in like smaller areas, like harder to reach areas. So I picked those up. All right, so next I will show you what I got at the church. Um, I found a lot of nice things there as well. So the first thing I got was a coat and this is by Land's End. And this is one of those like puffer jackets. This is so nice. It's so comfortable. It has a removable, really large fur hood. The lady said um, to to remove the, the hood part before I um, wash it when I need to, but it was freshly washed and it's, it smells like it. It smells like laundry detergent. It smells really nice. And I originally thought maybe I'd get this to sell, but I tried it on and it's really cute and it fits me. So I'm keeping it. I paid $2 for that. So I thought that was a great deal. I also paid $2 for this one. And this is just like a, it's a Nike puffer vest. It's navy blue. It's just got var a variation of blue there. Zips up probably see the back a little better so again like a puffer a puffer vest I probably will be selling this one um this one's not my size but it is Nike so for two dollars I thought that was a really good deal these puffer vests are pretty dang popular they're super duper comfortable also at the sale to sell I got this Talbot's blazer just looks like this and um it's got like a little button pocket detailing there and up here so this was a dollar the rest of the clothes were a dollar it was just the coats the coats were two dollars the actual clothes were a buck and then I got two men's western type shirts with the pearl snap buttons I used to sell these and they sold pretty well in the past so I got them to try this first one just kind of has like a western print of like rope and boots and cowboy hats and it is by Levi's and it has the uh, pearl snap buttons all the way down it and then on like the cuff sleeves so I gotta wash this oh I'm seeing some staining on it boo that's what happens when you're in a hurry at sales you got to take your time and really look things over um I well I'm gonna wash this anyway but I'm just gonna spray some um stain remover on that and see if it comes off if not I'll probably just I don't know what I'll do but you can see there's like a little bit of something there so I'll see if I can get that off that kind of sucks I hate when that happens you guys know like if you are a yard seller or a thrifter um how much it sucks when you get something home and not realize that there's a stain or a chip or something like that wrong with it or a hole and then this one is vintage definitely it's by Eli Plains looks like that and this one's really nice it's like a maroon color and it's got this floral bit there and the pearl snap buttons just a really nice one I like that one so I got that to sell. That was a dollar. And then I got these shoes and they were also a dollar. These are men's dress shoes. These are men's dress shoes that look like this. They're just really nice quality. Um, they look to be in really good condition. So I got these to try and sell. I'll see if I can sell them but I just thought they looked really nice and they were only a dollar. So I figured what the hey, I'll try it out. So that is everything I found while yard selling. I'll also share my snack haul with you. Um, like I said, I did stop at the Oats Employee Yard Sale. So I got some really cheap snacks. So this whole jar of the specials pretzel, these are the sourdough original pretzels. This was $2 for the barrel. So that'll last a while. Nice snack there. I like dipping them in mustard. This was also $2. It is the Pub Mix. It's a savory blend of crunchy snacks. My boyfriend really likes this. There's rye chips in there, pretzel pieces. Um, they're honey mustard and cheddar cheese 
twist sticks, honey roasted sesame chips, oriental rice crackers, pretzel sticks, nacho bagel chips, with, and Worcestershire rye chips. I always have a hard time saying that word. <laughs> but that was $2 as well. Then their bags of chips were only $1. So we got the honey barbecue potato chips and then the original potato chips. So I'm gonna have to get some stuff to make some dip. And then for free for mentioning Cardi B at the outlet, I ended up, this was the free snack they were giving out just to mention it um, from their Facebook page. So these are just mini bite-sized pretzel twists with the little It's Girl shapes. So not too shabby for free. So that is everything for my haul this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. You'll have to let me know what you found this week if you went out yard selling or thrifting. I was gonna go to the thrift store today, but after yard selling, I'm usually so exhausted. I'm still exhausted. I always wanna take a nap when I get home, but I've been drinking some coffee, trying to like wake myself up. My Walmart uh, cold brew really like these things. I'll say it again. Um, vanilla is my favorite, but they're always out of vanilla here lately. I think other people are catching on on how good they are. Uh, so I've been having to get mocha. Which, mocha is just as good, but I prefer vanilla. I'm just more of a vanilla coffee drinker. So that, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.